You're now tuned in to Sociology, a lifestyle brand that analyzes Chicago culture and connected topics abroad, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And I'm your host, Antoine Twiz Taylor from True Stories Media. Thin slices of seasoned roast beef and the gravy that it produces placed in the middle of a French roll slit down the middle, topped with John and Eric as hot peppers or sweet peppers or both with a variety of cheeses to go along with it. That's the Italian beef. The Italian beef is one of the most recognizable Chicago foods out there. Who makes the best Italian beef? How do you like your Italian beef served? Double dip, baptized, easy dip, dry, or anywhere in between? That's what we talk about on Sociology Episode 7. And just like every other episode before this and after this, this is simply an intro. This topic will be revisited in the future. But for now, let's see what they got to say. Okay, so I want to start this um, episode off with something. So I'm not going to say any names. We're going to get to that. Um, Italian beefs are like a Chicago staple, right? Everybody here love their Italian beefs. But somebody on this podcast, again, we're going to get there, um, prefers their Italian beef dry, Mm. right? Um, And like my gums hurt just to say that. (laughs) <laughs> um, like I feel like the roof of my mouth is being scratched. Like I low key think I need some water, but <laughs> someone on this podcast doesn't like their Italian beef dipped at all. Like they just want it dry. Like I'm talking about like cactus desert dry. So <laughs> I want to start this episode off with this individual defending their stance on why they like it dry. And, you know, why do they exhibit that behavior, you know, that um, that sociopath behavior? So can this individual speak up and defend their stance on this? Uh, yes. And <laughs> reiterate that topic with the no judgment zone. Okay. So first of all, I like bread. There is absolutely no way in hell that I would eat anything with soggy bread. So Mm. please give me my Italian beef dry so I can actually taste the bread and the crunch, Mm. the dryness, as you like to say. But yeah, it's and it's not completely dry because, you know, the meat has its juices, too. So it has a, a little bit of moisture, but I'm more so concerned about the individuals who are out here sopping up soggy bread. Okay, and, and we have an individual like that on here as well, so I will allow that individual to defend their stance. Okay, that is me. I like my beef, double dip, extra, yes. baptize my shit. Like, leave oh my, my beef at the bottom of the pie, go make like 10 more sandwiches, <laughs> then come back and oh get my, my I want my extra soggy. Like, oh, it's the best. It- <sighs> So I I'm, can't do no dry like mm-mm, bread. I mean, meat. I'm disturbed by both y'all to be honest. So, <laughs> like, I mean, on one hand, <laughs> on one hand, I need some water. On the other hand, I need, you know, I need a mental examination. So it's like, yes. Okay, okay, Mike. What, what, how do you like yours? How do you like yours? So, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of in between because I, I get it dipped. I don't do the double dip because I, I feel like the bread probably be falling apart at that point. Like I'm not <laughs> sure I can keep it all together. But I get it dipped once. But what I do is I always ask for a little cup, right? Of the all Jew on the side, just in case that one little dip ain't do it. You know what I mean? Like I can just dip uh-huh. it myself if I still feel like the bread a little too tough. Cause I don't know about you know I don't know about the individual that said you know they like it dry. I my teeth can't handle it. I can't I can't do it. I can't. Yeah, like <laughs> like I feel like I feel like you know. Can you imagine like a um a elder trying to eat an Italian beef dry? Uh, like they ain't gonna make the it. They ain't right. gonna make it. <laughs> they, I mean, George it. Washington racist ass ain't gonna make it. <laughs> but it's Them soft. bitches ain't. You said what? Mm-hmm. They might not make it with a soggy either. I mean, you slurp that up too fast, you damn near choking. Yeah, that's definitely a no. slushy. That's like an Mm-mm. Italian beef flavor slushy. <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> hey, that like, look, I personally look, I, I get mad. As, like, I'm kind of in between too. So, like, we got two extremes. Then we got, you know, Mike a, a little bit in the middle. Um, me, I easy dip, just easy dip. You know, I need it a little bit wet. But I don't need it too wet because I feel like 
dry is just you know i don't like nothing dry you know what i'm saying like i don't like nothing dry but then on the other hand i can't have it too wet because if that bread falling apart i'm getting mad bro like i right. i wanted an italian beef i didn't want soup i don't want soup <laughs> You know, <laughs> okay, it do not be soup. Don't read. <laughs> what you okay? Sometimes, sometimes it do though. Sometimes it, it be do. borderline French onion soup in that joint. Like, it's be like, <laughs> like y'all ain't have to give me all this. The bag is wet. It's just dripping That's on the way what home. I'm curious. Like, I could tell if they didn't dip it enough. Is that if the wrapping <laughs> is still, I it still look a little firm? No, go back. Okay. A little firm. You said go back. A little firm. Go back. The same. Oh my god. Okay, so so let me ask this. So let me let me start with uh let me start with Ashley. So um you walk into the spot, we're gonna get into different spots, you know, eventually, but you walk into the spot. How did you order your beef? Like tell us your order. I'm the cashier. Okay. I need an Italian beef with the ch- American cheese under the meat on the bun, sweet and hot peppers, a cup of nacho cheese on the side, and extra, 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 extra dipped. Oh my god. Yes. Wow. That's- Oh, that's, that's, that's very detailed. It that's, is. That's, I didn't need them to know. Don't just double dip because they just go real quick. Like, no, I be like, literally like, no, leave my shit in the bottom. Like, go make, <laughs> make some more orders and then like, forget about my shit and then come back and get it and wrap it up. That's, oh. that's how I dip I want it. So, <laughs> oh my God. You want that motherfucker to be a submarine. Like, Period. I was asking if she like eat the entire sandwich, like even the soggy, soggy parts. That's the that's the yeah. That's why I get it like that. <laughs> that's why I get it like that. That's the best like, part. The part that's real mushy that be at the bottom. Yeah. Oh, that that be the one, baby. I be oh, oh I can't wait to that. get to that part. I'm she felt like, that. Yes. She, she felt that. She felt that. I don't even understand the dry bread. <laughs> oh, okay. So speaking of dry bread, TC, you go next. Um. How how are you ordering yours? Like, tell us how you ordering it. Okay, y'all about to really think I'm crazy now. Okay. Uh oh. I would like to get an Italian beef, no cheese, mm. dry, mm. jardinier peppers. Please, I'm allergic to cheese. Please do not put the cheese on my. Oh, sandwich. okay. Well, that, that, well, that's understandable. You know, we don't want you to die. So, <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? But did you um, say no peppers? You said no peppers either. Right. No, she got the peppers. But I tell them I'm allergic to cheese. I'm I'm really not. But you know how sometimes they put it on oh, there. Oh well, okay. All right, yeah, you <laughs> ain't got that. Oh, oh, right. I was feeling bad, like oh, okay. yeah, I was feeling terrible. I was, I was like, no, oh man, I'm not getting cheese, and I'm not getting it dipped. I wanted just a dry Italian beef. Ooh. So you want meat so, and meat and bread. Meat and peppers. I want the peppers. Okay, simple. she said so, peppers. I missed that. So meat, okay. peppers, and bread, and you. So. Okay, that's cool. Um, My mouth I just was know. Just thinking about that, like, <laughs> how that work? Why like, no cheese? You yeah. you a beast though. You a beast, and I, and that's how you've been doing it your whole life. My whole life, and I eat the whole oh. sandwich. I'm cool. The whole sandwich. Mm-hmm. It don't be no. dry to me. Um, I, I guess. Mm mm, throw be dry. That sounds like can't. some old cuts. That don't even sound right. like the <laughs> <laughs> That sounds like the old school sound today. Hey, hey, that's the uh, that's the, the baby shower cold cut. I oh. swear, when they ran out of the little mayo package and shit, <laughs> okay, <That's all> right. <laughs> I can't even do it. Right. Hey, y'all, y'all, wow, boy. All right, so Mike, how you ordering yours? Oh man, all right. So I, I typically just go get you know, Italian beef dipped uh, with sweet peppers and mozzarella cheese and a side of the gravy. That's that's it. Okay, so y'all killing me with the sweet pepper shit. Oh yeah, I can't. I can't do the heat. I can't do the heat. I can't do them hot peppers. I need both no? sweet and hot. No, mm-hmm. no, no I, I need can't. hot only. You know, hot only. I don't. I don't like sweet peppers. Like they taste terrible to me. What? Mm-hmm. I, I like to enjoy my food, not be drinking water the whole time. Like I, I want to taste it without, <laughs> without my mouth being on fire. I'm sorry. Hey, <laughs> look, look, look! I'm getting, I'm getting mass. Um, easy dip, mozzarella, hot peppers. You know what I'm saying? With a chaz, not with a chaz, with a side of nacho cheese. Don't sleep <laughs> on the nacho cheese. Uh-uh. Okay. 
Mozzarella oh. and nacho cheese. Like, yes. No. yes. What's I up with all this mozzarella oh, American? God, the, the look. <laughs> it's the American cheese and the nacho cheese. I'm trying to figure that one out. That's a beef and cheddar. That ain't even a... <laughs> I don't even know what that <laughs> right. Italian beef. That's a beef and cheddar. No, no it's no. not. <laughs> look, look. Mozzarella <laughs> is what... An Italian beef is made for mozzarella. It's not really made for uh, American cheese. That's that Philly cheesesteak shit. Whatever. That's what Ashley, when Ashley said that, I was like, wait, they let you do that? What, what? <laughs> what, 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 what they, do that at? <laughs> they, they, they let you do anything, apparently. They let you do anything, apparently. So, all right. So, so, so now we got our orders. You know what I'm saying? Um, y'all, like... <laughs> all right. So, I'm, I'm going to start with you, TC. So... Have you ever had to send your beef back because it was like wetter than what it was supposed to be? Absolutely. Why, G? I don't know why they just assume people want that soggy sandwich. No, <laughs> I, I don't like anything in my mouth that's soggy like that. So let alone like mm-mm, I can't do it. Applesauce is soggy. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the text. Oh my god. Hey. Oh, hey, I went straight to third grade. Okay, so but like I mean, because see what it is is it's like the 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 standard to eat an Italian beef is to have it wet to some degree. Wow. Right? You know, that's, now that's what I'm saying if you the Italian beef itself is not dry, so there is still like a little bit of but you gotta, still on that. But you gotta get to the beef. Like you gotta why you gotta break, you your, gotta break that bread you down gotta and get to break it. Break your teeth to get to the meat. No, there <laughs> have been instances where I had to pick off certain parts of the bread because it still gets soggy. That's what I'm mm. saying. Like you don't knock it till you try it. I mean I, I feel y'all. You, oh, I tried it. My gums hurt still right. to this day. <laughs> to this y'all day. that it's so dry, but it's not. The Italian beef itself, you know, has the juice. So <laughs> the bread still gets a little wet. I get it. So it's like you're a step, Um, you're like a step above easy dip. So it's like you like super easy dip in a sense, because the only thing that's dipped is the meat. Right. Right. So like, you know, you just, you, you like, Easy dip, like no, I really know. say dry because I don't want my bread dipped at all. Right, I right. Still want my bread dry. I'm just saying that there still is juice that gets off, you know, comes off of the Italian. Right. Cause see, like that bread thick as hell, you know. Yes. So, like, my concern is if I was to order that, the juice ain't gonna penetrate the outer layers of the bread. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just gonna be right. chilling in the inside. Like, that's my concern. <laughs> Yeah, it gets the corner. It gets the corner. <laughs> the corner. <laughs> okay, and I have to pick that. I have to peel that part off because I still don't. Oh like my god! That's, oh, uh-huh. so yeah, yeah. That, that's that's interesting because, like, you know, it's just because you think about how a lot of people like to order their beefs, and you know, it's just it's interesting to see how they like it because you know we got um Miss Deep Sea Dive over there, you know. <laughs> You know, that want to leave at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean for two yes. weeks, come back. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mouth watering right now when you saying it, yes. Oh, <laughs> like, I don't know, man. My stomach hurt already. Like, <laughs> I don't but, know. You, but you know something, when you ask the question about, like, have you ever have you ever had to go and take your order back? Like, bro, I'm going back to, and I'm driven back. I got all the way home. Oh, that's the I'm worst. Open that bag up. And I look, and it's like I asked for a dip, and it looked like it looked like if they did dip it, it was in that joint for like all the two seconds, like on some Same. flash. Like, so, and I look, I'm like, I can't possibly bite through this bread. Bro. They use like, a little water gun that like pew pew. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like 15, 20 minutes from the Portillos. I'm like, how bad do I want this dip? I literally got back in my car and drove all the way back because I'm like, yeah. I don't want to do damage to my teeth, bro. Like, I, was like, I don't want <laughs> right. to attempt this. I went all the way back as petty as it was. Like, y'all ain't dipped this. They had to make me a whole new one, man. I just. That ain't just, petty. It ain't petty. I mean, you you want what you want. You like what you like. You know. No, but I, um, like, TC was like, you know, it's it's y'all have to try it. I'm like, I tried. I really did. I took one <laughs> bite of it. I was like, uh-huh. I was like, let me try at least one bite. Right. But then when you have a malt, like when you have like something that thick to drink, that combination don't work. Like I think it well, also I don't do the malt. 
Because I'm like, if you get a shake or a malt to go with that, you ain't got nothing to get that that dry sandwich. Uh-uh. Like, your throat no throat fog. No throat fog. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. That's bad. Yeah, you can't breathe at that point. Um, I, I don't, I don't do the malt, man. Um, I just do either water or lemonade. You know, uh, I can't do a shake and Italian beef. That's a lot of heaviness, and you know, y'all know I'm skinny, so <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't w- really want to be weighed down like that. Um, so you, you mentioned Portillo's, uh, Mike. Let me ask y'all this: um, Who has the best Italian beef in y'all opinion? That's it. Portillo's. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Oh, anybody yeah. agree on Portillo's? Yes. Oh, so y'all don't y'all don't fuck with nobody else. I mean, if I, I had Nikki's was good, but yeah, who Nikki's is good? Nikki's, Nikki's. Yeah. It's like a million Nikki's though, right? Which they one? told me to the well, coworkers told me to go to the one on Seventy Ninth. I assume Seventy Ninth. Yeah, somewhere over there. Like that's how you say it, Seventy Ninth. Like it is uh, okay. So, so everybody agree on Portillo's. Um, so here's my thing. Like, you know, I had Buena beef one time, right? <laughs> Did I say it? How, how you say it? I think it's pronounced Bona. Bona. Bona okay, Bona, Bona beef. I think, yeah. Bona. Yeah, y'all sending me off. It's cool. Um, <laughs> look. So, so look, I had them one time, and that was like after the Cubs won the World Series, right? And they was giving out free beefs to the first hundred people. So I'm like, mm-hmm. I right, bet. So I was like one of the first fifty. You know, I'm out there, you know, just ready. And like, I wasn't impressed. They was little. It was skinny. skinny it was skinny. Right? It, it was like a hot dog. I'm like, what the hell is this? Like, mm-hmm. you know. I really wasn't impressed, but people swear that Bona Bueno, whatever, low key is better than Portillo. Oh, like no. people be saying it. Like some people have said it. I'm gonna have to really? get them on the next episode. Yeah, I mean like, they have. They have. I say this. They they have more seasoning. Like they they definitely put more seasoning in their beef than okay. than Portillo. So so if you're a fan of that, but I mean the sandwich, like you said, is so much smaller. It's like it was the, tiny. Yeah, it's like a junior meal. I'm like, yo, where the rest of my beef at? I asked for a full Italian. I'm a grown man. <laughs> you a grown man. <laughs> Little ass. This but ain't no lunchable. Look. <laughs> Still be hungry after I eat that joy. Like, yo, I gotta go back and get something else. It it wasn't, it wasn't. Now I will say this real quick. We talking about places. Um, I haven't had this place. Well, the original is Al's Al's Italian beef, they claim. The original location. Al's beef. Al's yeah, beef. yeah, yeah, Al's beef. But they say you only you can only get it from the original, and I haven't been there yet. The one on Taylor Street. I I went to one out in Tenley, and it was garbage. But yeah. everybody who I talk to is like, "Well, you went to the wrong one. You can only go to the one on Taylor." So, uh. mm. yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I had Al's beef before. I don't know if it was the one on Taylor. I doubt it was. But I had Al's beef before. It, it was decent. You know what I'm saying? It was a little too salty for me, though. Yeah. Um, you know, it was a little too salty, but I will say this though: I'll be the uh, the odd man out. I don't think Portillo's has the best Italian beef. It's good. Don't get me wrong; it's good. Come but you know, uh, it's a it's a it's a um, little gym in Blue Island. I hmm. it's on Western. It's called T and G's. T and G's. T and G's. What part of Blue Island? Because I'm scared of old Blue Island. (laughs) Downtown old Blue Island. So it's like it's like (laughs) off um it's off Vermont Street. Okay. Um it's in between Vermont and 127th, but it's on Western. I it's in Blue Island. It's called T and G's. They Italian beefs go hard. Like a lot of people don't know about them. It's a small mama pop joint, but they Italian beefs go hard and in my opinion, they better than Portillo's. Again, there's no shade. Portillo's is the goat. You know, they lines be longer than Brazilian weave. <laughs> but, <laughs> let me tell you something. TNGs. TNGs. Uh-huh. Blue Island. Uh-huh. South right. Burbs. Between Vermont and 127th on Western. Okay. I'm I'm a, a, I'm a, all right. I'm going to try them out too. But I don't think they're going to be better than Portillo's. I know, right? Like, I'm like, hey, hey. Portillo's, Portillo's the whole package. Like, exactly. you, you got the beef with the yeah. fries, though? Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, right. the fries is, fries is undefeated, especially with the nacho cheese. Fries oh, my God. It's undefeated. It's undefeated. Like, yeah. you really can't go wrong with that. Like, so when I when I get my beef, I always get a large fry. If I'm really hungry, oh, I get a small fry, too. Um, <laughs> but. 
Hey, hey, because the fries don't be making it home, bro. Like, <laughs> no, they don't. They don't, man. They I'm don't. like, last one, last one. Close the bed. <laughs> the next yeah. light, I'm like, well, shit. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, when, when they fries are fresh, they low key, like, low key. We talking about Italian beefs, but Portillo's fries might be top three undefeated, low key. Yeah. 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 We gonna be real. Like, you. can you name some fries better than Portillo's fries? Ooh, um, I like Cajun fries. Oh, okay, you fancy. Yeah, I like Popeye's fries. But yeah. Oh, yeah, Popeye's fries. Yeah. Regular yeah. French fries, I think Portillo's definitely has the best. Yeah. Um, Portillo's I only up like there. regular fries. I don't like Cajun fries, waffle fries, potato wedges, none of that. So you ain't gonna eat all. none of that. No, I just like regular fries. So, all right, all right, hold on. So, say you had a lifetime supply of super dip beefs, right? Um, <laughs> but the only way to get them is to have any type of fry other than what you like. You you finna say no? Hell no! I ain't about to say no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, if you motivated enough, what you gonna do? You gonna get the Italian beef there, and then you gonna drive your ass to where they got the fry? <laughs> hey, you know that's some hungry shit, man. Getting an Italian beef one place and going to per- going to Popeyes and getting some fries. That's some hungry ass shit, right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's wrong with that shit right there. Like, <laughs> but, you know, people will do that though. People have done that, yeah. right? People have done that. So, what um, what location y'all go to when it comes to Portillo's? What, what's y'all favorite location? Mm. Crestwood. Crestwood. Oh yeah, Crestwood decent. Crestwood, Crestwood decent. I've Crestwood. had experience in Crestwood. Yeah, I like Crestwood in Orland. I've been a, wait, you mean Tilly Park was at Orland? Tilly Park, Orland, okay, whatever, yeah, you know. Yeah. My bad. Yeah, I ain't, <laughs> I ain't been, true, it is definitely a fast time. I ain't been over there in a long time. I ain't been over there in a long time. My go-to, because it's the closest to me, is the one in Evergreen Park. I knew it. But that that damn lot, though, man, it'd be traffic all up and down 95th Street trying to get up in that Portillo's lot. Oh, man. oh yeah, Absolutely. No, nah, you know, um, the one in Homewood, I ain't never been. I think I've been to that one maybe once. But the one in Homewood, bro, like that line be circling all the way down to the Walmart. So y'all know it's a Walmart mm-hmm. right next to it. Mm-hmm. That line yeah. be like blending in with the Walmart parking lot. I'm like, nah, G, I ain't. Nah. <laughs> it ain't. Right. And I, nah. I don't like that location anyway. Homewood, why not? And they ain't, they ain't fuck with my beef right. Oh, and you know, they, when you try to tell them they did it wrong, it's attitudes. You know how I go. I'm like, mm-mm, right. never again. I mean, I have an attitude, too, if I was standing outside getting cussed out all day. <laughs> <laughs> well, make it right the first time, then. Was it cold outside? No. See, it oh, was okay. summertime. It was summertime? Because, mm-hmm. you know, look, they be... <laughs> It'd be a tsunami, boy. It'd be a tsunami, a motherfucking cyclone, a blizzard. Uh, and they out there like, yeah, uh, cash a card. Like, <laughs> uh, I'd be like, how much are they paying, y'all? I couldn't do it. They, they, uh-uh. You know they get paid. They getting paid a lot, G. You know they They're like, well, they let us inside every 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I'm not doing all this for no double dip, G. I'm not. Nah, I quit. That's got to be illegal. I quit. That's got to be illegal. I quit. Like, Look. The one over here by me in Evergreen Park got one of them machines. They got the little inner machines but they don't use it they still none, none of them do outside. none of them do none of them yeah. do like little i swear to god like i went out of all my years of going to portillo's and i'm 55 like the only time <laughs> you ain't no 50 <laughs> <laughs> hey look y'all got quiet y'all like wait Jesus. <laughs> I'm like, hey, y'all I'm gonna, gonna get away with it, it. Yeah, I was, gonna let, I was gonna let him. I was gonna let him get away with it because he called me old earlier. <laughs> right. Yeah, Mike is the elder on this episode. Oh That's my god! Uh, so look, at all my years going to Portillo's though, I literally only use that intercom like twice. Yeah. Like real talk. At least you use it. I don't think I've ever seen oh, it. Used. Wow. <laughs> I was like, damn, you used it. It was like a random time. It was like literally like I think I was craving it, and I went there like eleven in the morning or something. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like okay. super early. And like I just pulled up, they was like, "Hi, can I take your order?" I'm like, "Oh, damn!" <laughs> like, <laughs> like, where y'all let minions at? Like, what are you? Not you know? <laughs> like I was ready, man. I was ready, but yeah, like they they never use those intercoms. It's always they got the whole squad out there. You know, I don't know if how they doing it now, but 
last time I've been to Portillo's, it was like a cash line and a card line. Um, and it's probably mm-hmm. all card now because you know with the whole COVID and cash, right? Whatever, you know. But yeah, they was like cash or card. I'm like card, you know, whatever. And then boom, they do the little stick on your windshield and you keep it moving. Hey, sometimes mm-hmm. they be forget to take that stick off. I don't. I don't be catching it for a couple of days. I had a couple <laughs> stickers piled up. Like damn, I go this year a lot. <laughs> like, you thought you had a ticket. You thought you had a ticket. Came outside. Thought you had a ticket. Hey, hey, they really do though. I remember one time. Um. Like I ain't take mass off to the next morning. I'm like, oh shit! Like let me, let me go ahead and take this off. But, you know, everybody in my business. You know, what I'm you find everybody in my business. Hey, everybody I, in my business. Am, hey, am I the only one too? Where like, if y'all go inside of Portillo's and it ain't somebody there, like singing y'all orders up, like number nine, oh, it's oh, your time. Oh, I'm judging. I'm judging. If she yeah. ain't in there, it's like it's one at every every location. You better if get I go poetic. Into Portillo's and I don't hear no rhymes. I'm walking out. Yeah, yeah. You, got, you better get poetic. You better get poetic. <laughs> Number seven, you in heaven? Yeah, I'm in heaven. <laughs> you better believe I'm in heaven. You know, right. um, you know, you better get poetic. You know what I'm saying? Like, because they yeah. and like, but you know what though? I peep, and I don't know if this is is a, if this is a conspiracy, but I feel like they got those like written down because like I went to m- different locations. They be saying the same shit. I'm like, yeah, yeah see, that. y'all running out of material. I heard this. I heard this in Evergreen. Don't be saying that shit in Crestwood or you know, um, up north. You know what I'm saying? The one up north. I ain't been to that one in a minute. Man, I just be waiting, bro. I be waiting to see how they gonna do it. Like she be like 73. I'm like, ooh, what she gonna come up with? Like 73. Come Come see me. me. (laughs) See, see, that's what I'm saying. Whenever it's a three, they gonna say, "Come see me," or you're the one. To see or something like that, like you can tell what they finna say, <laughs> or like eighty five. She likes it dry. We talking about you, T-C. <laughs> we talking about you. Oh, <laughs> cool. Okay, let me ask you this: Are you the only one in your family that likes it dry? Yes, and I'm also the only one in my family that don't like cheese. So, mm. oh my god. Mm. So, just, but so they know what to like do. Any type of cheese? I'm sorry, like it, no type of cheese though. Like, right, like everything, uh, and just feel like nah, it ain't doing it. I could kind of do mozzarella, but only on pizza. Okay. 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 I mean, you gotta eat cheese if you eat pizza. Right, though. Right. Yeah, but pizza not my go-to. You know how people right. love pizza. I would, I would definitely get an Italian beef over pizza. Italian beef over fried chicken. So. Mm. Oh, okay. So, so you love the beef. You just prefer a dry so like you know you're a big like fan of okay i like bread too so right, I, right. you know my idea is that. i want to experience the whole sandwich you know without the cheese right right so <laughs> hey, 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 she got a rebuttal so you got a rebuttal over there ashley what's your rebuttal i just I don't understand okay Uh-oh. I just don't understand. We have to dry. agree to disagree because you like your sandwich the complete opposite of <laughs> yes. Uh-oh. She said yes. Yes. Like, the complete opposite. Like, like, it's, like it's literally like polar opposite. Like you know, really? like North yeah. Pole, South Pole. That's really what's going on right here. Yeah. For you know? real. And you know, it's is is wow. Like because I'm in the middle, and I feel like Mike can in the middle. But I feel like you probably like yours a little bit wetter than I like mine's, Mike. If oh I'm yeah. Keep it real. Yeah. See, yeah. I don't. Yeah, I'm more so on the TC side of things. So that's the scale. You got TC to Ashley. So yeah. I'm closer to TC, but not really because, you know, I can't do that dry, dry. But, <laughs> you know, I just like a little sprinkle on it, you know. So, yeah. yeah I like never sprinkle. want nobody to get a side of sauce on the, you know. A side oh, yeah, that happens. Oh. That yeah. happens. Right, but I don't understand that either because you might as well just get it baptized. Like, what you, who got time to be doing all that? Like, you, you either want it wet or you want it dry. Which one? Like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it real. Like, right. You know, uh, Jesus didn't walk on water for that. He, he, did, he didn't walk on water for you to get that beef baptized like that. Listen, yeah. <laughs> yo, it's just it's like here's the thing. I don't mind it. I don't mind it baptized, but yo, I want the bread to stay fr- like I want it to at least stay a sandwich, yo. Like that's it be a sandwich. I mean, how slow do you eat? It's breaking it apart though. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Baptized, it's hold like on. mush. It's hold like- on, hold on. She said, <laughs> you said how slow do you eat? So that right. just lets me know you eating it like a savage over there, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> 
Like that, that, that beef is gone in like two minutes. Okay. 120 seconds. It's gone. Listen. <laughs> it's out of what? there. Listen, I don't be playing no game. It's out of there. It's out of there, um, it's, it's out of there. I mean, but you know, no judgment because, you know, I eat like a savage too, you know, um, eating like like I'm Gollum from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> but, so I, I understand, you know, it should be good. It does. It does. It'd be good. And see, that's the beauty of this. So even though we all like it different ways, we all smashing it the same way. Mm-hmm. All right. That's yeah. the irony of it right there. All right, so y'all don't mess with Al's beef. Y'all don't mess with Bueno beef. Bueno beef. Oh, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> so when was, like, the last time you had a beef? Because it's been a minute for me. I was about to get one today. I was, I'm going I was literally tomorrow. Right. I'm, I'm like, I'm going to get me one before the weekend is out. Yes. I will have a beef in my hand. Yeah, oh, y'all ready. I'm, I'm going tomorrow, but the last time, yeah, it was Right after the new year for me, probably like two weeks into the new year. Too long ago, shit. Oh, oh, head up, head up, head up over there. Straight up, it ain't been longer than two weeks for me. I, I don't, I can't tell yeah. you when, but I don't go longer than two weeks without one of them joints. Oh, so you addicted? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, oh. Portillo's like I said, it's fifteen minutes away, bro. I, I ain't got a choice. I'm locked in. Yes, I feel yeah. you. Um, right, they are good, but I ain't that close to birth low, so. Thank God. Thank um, God. It's a That's good. That's it's good. Addictive. That's good. Especially, you know, you got that distance. Like, especially <laughs> if you like more than one thing on their menu, because I love the beef, but I can go for a chili dog. I can go for one of their hamburgers. Like, it's, I sit in the line sometimes, like, how am I feeling today? Like, how fat do yeah. I want to be at the end of this day? <laughs> That's hey. crazy. I have never tasted anything besides birth beef. Like, really? Yeah. No, I, get I never ordered nothing else. I get their cheeseburgers sometimes. Um, I had their hot dogs every now and then. But their cheeseburger's time. decent, though. Cheeseburger's really? decent. I ain't getting no ribs or none from there. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> nah, that's, that's going into different territory. I don't yeah. mess with it. Super dead <laughs> yeah. right there. Super <laughs> dead right there. I'm not getting no ribs. Nah, but, don't do that. Yeah. But beef and uh, burger, you know, I you know, mm-hmm. I do that. You know and, what I'm saying? And the chocolate cake. I know y'all fucking with the chocolate cake. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, chocolate right. cake, definitely moist. Chocolate cake definitely right. nice. So wait um, now, do you like that dry TC or but no, I, I like I like the way it comes. I like chocolate, so yeah. Okay. 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 Woo, yeah. Air me for a minute. We can agree on that, right? Because right. yeah, because like dry cake, now you just really out there, right? You just, <laughs> it is what it is. Hey. You just. <laughs> 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 oh shit! It's in the car now. It's gonna get that. <laughs> <Right>. So <laughs> if they eat it right in the parking lot because I'm not close to Portillo's. I'm in Calumet Park and it's all the way in Crestwood. That's my go-to. And I oh still yeah, you right there. I need it. I do not care. I need my food hot. Be going right. crazy with it. Yeah. So, so you don't you don't do Uber Eats? Get soggy. You don't do yeah. Uber Eats and shit. Oh hell no! That's Mm-mm. a problem. No. Wait, hold on. Why you don't do Uber Eats, Ashley? Like you would love that based on I how know. you. You right. love it. But it's no. gonna get nice and wet and soaked. <laughs> I know, right? Let it drench through. You would think, but no, because I don't, I don't be trusting now. True. I don't trust. Like if it was like a delivery at the restaurant, I'll trust that because I got somebody to come to who curse their ass out. But just like <laughs> random people, that's just third party. No, that's too many hands. Mm-hmm. You know, too many I- people. I got to trust with my food. I feel that. I, I go I get mine I get mine through DoorDash, Uber Eats, whatever. But I'ma say this. I I I always question like do I want fries? Because if I want my fries hot, it's a waste of time getting it through right. one of them right. they, Absolutely. By the time they get to your damn house, the shit gonna be cold and they probably just snuck a few of them out the bag. Like, oh, I don't okay. want no problem. So I'll be sitting there thinking like how bad do I want the fries? That's really what it boiled down to for me. Sometimes you be looking at that app, and I don't know about y'all. Like I be real anal, like looking at that app, like where they going with my food, Joe? Like it's been a few times right. I had to call them, like, "Yo, you took the wrong right." <laughs> oh my god! I got another, I got another pickup. Well, you could have put me hey. first, goddamn it! <laughs> hey, you know, funny story, look, this ain't got nothing to do with the episode, but it got something to do with DoorDash. All that we ordered Harold's one day, right? And like, dude, like, well, it, it was actually a woman. She like went to the neighbor's house. I'm like, hold on, hey, that's, <laughs> that's, 
out of here. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know? like where, where's you going? Mm-hmm. Like this that it's for this address, not not it's, them. It's for this address. Right. And she you know she thought I was lying or something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, ma'am, like that's mine. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, yeah. Like, what are you oh, doing? Man. But I never oh, ordered man. an Italian beef through DoorDash or Uber Eats. I never did that because I'm kind of with uh TC on this. Like it's one of those things, or maybe it was Ashley that said said it. It's one of those things. I just need to go in a restaurant to get it. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. Maybe because, you know, I don't know. I just need, I feel more comfortable mm-hmm. going in a restaurant to getting my Italian beef. Oh, speaking of that, is it Italian beef or Italian beef? Mm. Good question. Mm. Well, we got time to pronounce all of the items. <laughs> it's, 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 it's just Italian beef. Italian. Italian. <laughs> Italian. 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 You know what I'm saying? That's all I say. Italian beef. Like, I just say, let me get Italian beef. You know, easy dip, mozzarella, hot peppers, large fry, small fry, nacho cheese on the side, large lemonade. Yes. Yes. <laughs> like we at church. Yes. Right. You better tell the truth. For you better real. tell the truth right now. Freeze. <laughs> you feeling it. You feel it. Hey, they gonna be crowded as hell though, but <laughs> they always crowded. For real. Always. <laughs> and you know, you know they're gonna have their minions outside ready to take your order, mad as hell, with their little raincoats on. <laughs> I can't do it. I couldn't either, man. I, I couldn't do it. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Those were the thoughts, the desires, the wants, the cravings of a couple Chicagoans and how they feel about Italian beef. But before we wrap this episode up, we're going to segue into another segment titled Small Talk. I'm going to talk with one more Chicagoan. He's going to give us his unpopular opinion on who makes the best Italian beef and how he prefers his beef served. All right. So um, on this Small Talk segment, you know, before we wrap up Italian beef, I want to know how do you like yours? Tell me how you do how, when you walk into the spot. How do you order your beef? Um, so I feel like I'm going to be at, you know ordering a six wing or something. I kind of have it already in my head. The script is um, let me get it you know dip lightly, um, high peppers, sweet peppers, uh, cheese on the side, cheese on the side, cheese on the side. Because I like to kind of control it because sometimes depending on how they dip that thing. The cheese might not even be necessary. It's kind of like having a steak. You know a good steak when you don't have to put no sauce on it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So that's mm-hmm. kind of how I like my beefs. You know what I'm saying? I like to, and if I do want to add the cheese, then, you know, I got control of where I put it because I don't want it on top of the meat. I prefer it on the side, like um, in the bread area. Okay. Got it. And um, so you uh, are not too fond of Portillo's. Is that correct? I am. I am not, man. So you don't like now, Portillo's at all? Okay, now let's now let's be specific. I like Portillos. I don't like their beefs. Okay, okay. So so as far as what we're talking about, you're not going to Portillos for that. I'm not going there for that. And honestly, I'm not really going to Portillos unless somebody makes a, a food suggestion like on my own. No, nah, I'm not going to Portillos. I'm just going to drive right past there and go to the next best spot. Mm-hmm. But if somebody said, mm-hmm. yeah. You know, look, I don't have an idea for me, you know, for a meal. Look, let's just go to Portillo's. Okay, cool. I can get something else off of that means. I like I really like their burgers. I'm a big fan of their burgers. I like this I like the salads. You know, if I got a sweet tooth, I'll get a piece of that chocolate cake. It's probably like the best chocolate cake I've ever eaten in my life. But you could not pay me to eat one of their Italian beefs. I can't pay you. So so if if I pull up and I say, Here's your stimulus check for, you know, five thousand. You ain't you ain't doing it. I mean, I'm not stupid, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not. Look, I'll put it to you like this: it's not the worst thing in the world to where I can't eat it. I just don't like it. You know, it's like I feel you. I got he you. just yeah. It's like Deion Sanders said about his Jerry curls. Same way he feel about his Jerry curls. The way I feel about an Italian beef from Portillo's. That motherfucker look wet, but it's dried in the motherfucker. So mm. I am not fooling with it. I can go and get an Italian beef from somewhere else. I'd rather get the stuff they sell at Jewel in the tub and oh, buy my own bread. Oh, than that's deep. There. That's deep. Okay, so um, you said you would go to the next best place. Where is the next best place to you? 
So if it's got to be a commercial spot, then I'm going to choose Bona. And the reason being is I just think that, that the gravy is everything. The meat's the meat is a small portion when you got good gravy. But you know what I'm saying? Like, if the gravy wasn't good, they wouldn't sell it by itself, and all you got to do is dip the bread in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, the gravy is like the mild sauce mm-hmm. on a six wing. If that mild sauce is weak, then the whole six wing is weak. Mm. That's how I feel about the gravy. If that gravy is weak, then the whole sandwich is just going to be weak for me. You know what I'm saying? I like to have... I like to have more of a savory. I'm a savory guy. Yeah. And Portillo's don't really, it's not savory like that. It's just almost like they just crack open the can, add some spices. And it's like glory. It's like them glory greens. You You didn't do nothing. You know, I I feel you on the savory because, you know, like I I like savory things myself. Now, um, I'm with you on, um, you know, I get it. Like Portillo's ain't the best thing since, uh, you know, sliced bread. Okay. You know, um, actually, on a previous segment, I said what my favorite spot was um, all time, even though I haven't been there recently, you know. Um, but here's the thing. So you say you like savory. I do, too. That's why I can't do sweet peppers. Right. Sweet peppers is terrible. I feel like sweet peppers on an Italian beef is an abomination. OK, um, I think it doesn't belong on Italian beef. I feel like whoever created sweet peppers on an Italian beef, you know, should be tried in court. Um <laughs> So that's you like, hard, but you, I hear you though. You like Bona, okay? You like Bona, I do. Cool. Um, but what's your greatest of all time spot when it comes to Italian beef? Johnny's is located on right off of North Avenue in Harlem. Um, I think that's Elmwood Park. Um, my ex girlfriend um, introduced me to that place about three years ago, mm-hmm. and we actually had an Italian mix. Okay, they had an Italian mix. Um, I kind of, you know, I, I'm not, you know, obviously from I'm out, I'm from out south. This place is like north, northwest. You know so what I'm saying? From out south or out south? I'm out south with an F. Right, right. Um, south suburbs to be exact. Right. So, um, but anyway, um, you know, you're not thinking about these re- when you live south of downtown. You don't really think of your restaurants out west or up north if you're not, you know, if you don't have any reason to go there. And so for me, I was completely unfamiliar with the area. Mind you, I worked out. I used to work out in Maywood. So I would try to different little spots, but I'd never been that far north. And yeah, ate there one night and just was like, this is the best thing I've ever eaten. You know what I'm saying? And it was just the way that it, it's almost like it's like a machine back there. Like all you got to do is, you know, you tell them how you want it to be dipped and the rest is history. And you can kind of see in, in that gravy, like, and I know I'm talking about it a lot, but that's important because that's where your flavor ultimately comes from. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? That's ultimately where all that flavor comes from is from that gravy. And it, it's just almost like they make it, they make their own sauce and it just comes out perfect. And I just actually went there like two weeks ago. So, and I'm driving from near Midway just to go get this Italian, um, this Italian beef. So I do have. That's how you know it's good when you're traveling for. When you're traveling for food, you know it's it's good. You ain't just traveling just to travel. Yeah, man, and and that's the thing, man. When you know when you have a good product, people will come from far and wide just to get it. Like we, like for example, you know when people travel. You know, when people go to Houston, everybody want to talk about the turkey hut. Or when you see people go to St. Louis, you know, you got people that come from all over the place to go to Sweetie Pies or whatnot. Johnny's is kind of like that place in the city in, you know, around Chicago, because hmm. I hear people say that they coming from, you know, further south to try their food. And the line be long as hell, especially in the summertime. And I'm sure now that everything is opening back up, you'll be able to start to really see the true essence of how Johnny's is. For a place like Portillo's, I can go to a Portillo's in Arizona or a Bona. I can go to a Bona in Indiana. I can't go to a Johnny's, you know, outside of Elmwood Park. And that's what it does for me. The genuineness of the recipe that and, and the effort that they put into making that is why I like it so much. And maybe because there's so many Portillo's that there's no uniqueness to it. Mm -hmm. You know, there's not very many bonus right now. 
So they all kind of- It's more than what it used to be, though. It, more than what they used to be. Because they've been popping up. Yeah, that is true. Because it's, it's, it's really good. You know what I'm saying? But Portillo's, there's so many that they become watered down. You know, and I just feel like that may be the reason why I don't prefer mm. um, Portillo's because they all taste the same. There's nothing unique about it. It's almost like, shit, you've been to one McDonald's, you didn't been to them all. That's kind of how Portillo's is. Into a million. So let me ask you this. Um, I'm going to give you um, a description of an Italian beef, right? Oh or how God. it's prepared. And I want you to give me the first word that pops in your head, okay? Okay. All right. So Italian beef, easy dip. Simple. Okay. Italian beef, double dip. Gross. Italian beef, baptize. Um, grosser. Italian beef, dry. <laughs> Evil. <laughs> <laughs> Evil. Evil. So Evil, like man. just straight like you know Thanos. Because you ain't what kind of what kind of savage is that? Like to eat a dry first of all, the meat is just like you just barely scraping off the, the like nah man. The bread gonna be dry. It's like you and some of that bread be tough if you catch it on a bad day. Now you like almost playing Russian roulette. Mm. You can choke because it's so dry, like Nah, man. That's like a motherfucker waking up in the morning and they eat nails for breakfast. Oh. Like, <laughs> that's what that represents. That's what that sounds like to Home me. Depot? You huh? You went to Home Depot for breakfast? Man, you asked for the large sawdust. Oh, oh man. Ooh. That's what it is. It's disgusting. I couldn't do it. If you enjoyed this episode, I ask for two things. Number one, pass it on to a friend who may enjoy it as well. And number two, leave a five-star review. And don't forget to subscribe to our other podcast, Mogul Motivation, from True Stories Media.